right, welcome back to AM Live. In studio, we have Mark Bachashi, communication strategist. We have Ishmael Nyaribo, advocate, political analyst, police, uh, public policy analyst, and Osman Liba in a studio as well. I'm told you a hashtag, but I'm curious, uh, what you make of uh, the head of public service releases a memo? He says, okay, so this is where you're supposed to be situated. You need to move, uh, part, you know, this is, these are the ministry headquarters. Make sure you align accordingly. Uh, we see Musalia Mudavadi release a statement following that, and he says, uh, for avoidance of doubt, we, my office is situated uh, railways. The, I think the memo had talked about old treasury building. Uh, and then uh, Moses Kuri, I believe it was, uh, it was believed would occupy the railway offices on account of him taking over the, dot of perfor the docket of performance management, right? Um, so have we blown things out of proportion? As a communication strategist, Mark Bichachi, yeah. are we making a mountain out yeah. of a molehill? Well, uh, <coughs> you know, this issue of, of where offices are located has not started now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a history of a certain uh, mall, uh, two rivers, uh, that was supposed to uh, accommodate a, a certain CS. I will, I will not mention him by name. Uh, but let the people conclude who it is because it's mentioned in this very same story. So there has been an issue with this particular CS and where he's situated before. So given that there is a history, no, you're not blowing this out of proportion. And that is because, first and foremost, that the issues of where the headquarters of a ministry are are issues of gazettement and they're issues of law. We know for a fact that uh, institutions are not even allowed to have certain meetings outside of their headquarters. So it is a very important thing to know where headquarters are. But we also know, even during the Uhuru government, CSS had issues with the kind of offices they were given. Uh, in fact, uh, 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 there, there was a very notorious CS during the Uhuru era who spent 50 million shillings renovating her office, if you remember. So these issues are serious. And they always point out the, the issues that bedevil an institution. So, for example, how is a prime cabinet secretary supposed to do his job if performance management is not under him? If you remember, uh, Matiangi, super CS as he was, was the one in charge of delivery. So when you remove delivery from Mudavadi, there is definitely going to be an issue as to whether what that prime uh, cabinet secretary position actually means. Is it a glorified position now? Because it is supposedly uh, uh, in existence to help the president ensure that ministers perform. So if you remove performance indicators away from that office, so is uh, Moses Kuria the prime CS now? All right. Uh, <laughs> Ishmael uh, Nyaribu, it, it was interesting. I, I was reading the statement released by uh, Musalia Mudavadi, and he said, you know, the, these works on the office are not complete, but because he's not, I'll have to get that quote, because no, you can get the full weight of it, but essentially he's not a guy who's ostentatious. So, you know, he, had no pro he has no problem moving in even as yeah. they are. Uh, what do you make of this? Is it actually him who's made it a big deal given no, the uh, communication that he the co subsequent communications that his office has released in regards to this matter yeah no <clears throat> for the first time i agree with moses courier in terms of uh, attaching office to a building and you know if you're talking about an office probably closer to harambe house it could have some sense but we are talking about uh, an office at the old treasury and the railway I honestly believe that where you work from is not a major issue here. I think uh, what we see from the public service uh, uh, chief is actually bad governance. And also the, the whole team is actually not following proper, uh, uh, proper uh, uh, governance and the rules of the public civil service. Because these are very small issues. I mean, it is about which desk you are going to use and where you're going to situ uh, situate your office. It is not a question of, unless, Mud 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 unless Mudavadi is arguing about, Kosge is trying to nip his powers in terms of the responsibilities the head of state has given him, unless that is the issue. But the question of who is going to sit at the railway and who is going to sit at the old uh, uh, treasury building, that I agree with Moses Kuria. You can actually 
have been given a desk by the roadside and you deliver on your mandate. It is really an argument about nothing. No, but, uh, but what you, you, you need to remember that uh, issues of office are matters of law in this country, where a CS is regulated by law. Nobody is disputing that, uh, Mark. I mean, I agree, you, you're raising that. Nobody is disputing that, but that is a matter of governance. Why are we, why are we making Kenya that we debate on every item? If uh, a minister is walking on the road, we analyze that. The issue here, in my view, is a, an issue of, 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 of governance, and there is no law, Mark, that uh, will say we limit the uh, seating of uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs to a building called Harambe House. No. I mean, uh, the, 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 the law allows that if in organization the public service can say this particular office will now be situated at a certain building, I think that is in order. Yep. All right. Uh, Arnold Maliba, um, just looking at uh, one second, there we go. Executive Office of the President, Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service, designation of physical addresses for ministries and state departments. <coughs> and uh, we see here Office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary and Ministry of Foreign and Diaspora Affairs, uh, Musalia Mudavadi, Old Treasury uh, Building. If I scroll uh, further down and trace that of Ministry of Public Service, Performance and Delivery Management, Kenya Railways Headquarters of Haile Selassie Avenue. So this was the communication. If we scroll to the very bottom here, we have uh, Felix Kosge, Chief of Staff, Head of the Public Service. This is the man who has uh, stipulated that all ministries and state departments are directed to take note of their designated <coughs> Um, head office as well as other ministerial head offices and to therefore make the requisite arrangements to secure compliance. The statement uh, was released thereafter by Musalia Mudavadi. Uh, but this is uh, the latest and uh, he talked basically about uh, Moses Kuria cannot pick a fight with his superior uh, but he also stated and uh, here's the phrase I was looking for for um, hmm. any public servant purporting to allocate ministerial locations or portfolios is, mis is misguided to the extent <laughs> that they are attempting to usurp a function that belongs to the president. Such action can be attributed to enthusiastic flight of imagination, <laughs> the import of which such misadventure is to sow disorder and discord among members of the <coughs> cabinet with intent to disorient collective responsibility of the cabinet. Additionally, portfolio designation is the prerogative of the president and cannot be usurped by a civil servant. In the recent reorganization of government, and, and uh, the, he goes on to quote the statement we have already uh, seen there, but uh, is this it's, violence it's really towards bad, Felix I mean. Kosge? <laughs> you know, first of all, I do not know whether I'm the right person to talk about this because uh, I might really be very unforgiving to some individuals in this particular case. <laughs> uh, probably, let's start from this particular point. Uh, first and foremost, the office that Koski handles is quite a controversial one. Ever since we've actually been, at least as long as I've been alive, I know, being in the position that Koski is in is actually very controversial. I can actually draw you to an article by The Nation in the days of old where they spoke about uh, really what the head of public service does and uh, uh, the, the, the writer even spoke about that particular position essentially being the president's secretary, quote unquote. But you see, what does that office handle? It communicates, number one, it takes instructions directly from the president. Number two, it runs the cabinet office that communicates the executive decisions and everything from the president. So is it possible that Koske sat on his own and came up with that? Definitely no. So I, I think probably now, since Kenya Kwanza is in its second year, we should also now be able to uh, look at the house and be able to attach some of these things to individuals as opposed to putting it to the regime. You know, Kibisu Kabatesi is not very new to controversy. I think he's Miguna's analog that is actually left in this particular <laughs> regime. He is actually used to these brawls. This is just him typically. I, and I will actually quickly add uh, this way. Can Kibisu honestly say that uh, uh, the CS, uh, the, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, has not been operating from uh, Harambe House? No, not Harambe House, from uh, Old Treasury House. 
the truth is that, and that's why I said I didn't want to talk about this, because for the longest time, by the way, the Prime Cabinet Secretary has actually been operating from Harambe Avenue. I don't want to go to the specific places way before, even when the, uh, the railway office was there. It's one of those things that really we don't want to go into those details. But like uh, Nyaribo said, I think this is small jostling, uh, just within, even children in the house do jostling here and there. We don't need to give it a lot of emphasis. And I think what Koske needs to do is actually to read uh, uh, John 14 uh, verses 2 <laughs> to these people and say that in my father's house there are many rooms. If they, it were not so, I would have told you. Because th this is kiddish stuff. <laughs> the, the stuff that we saw with Mugu Miguna fighting about chairs and who sits on what side. Uh, Kibiso honestly should move away. There are better ways of handling this. This is quite, uh, we've moved on as a country. We are at a level where we can't go back to uh, the feel, the nusumukate kind of feeling. That, I, I think, is uh, uh, unleashing violence unnecessarily. There are better places where violence can actually be unleashed. I think here, he's wasting a lot of his brain, his energy, and his passion. Small okay. stuff, because they're they are going to flag him out and say, where has uh, the Prime Cabinet Secretary been operating from? That is also possible to ask. I saw Mark uh, making a leading contribution without necessarily wanting to substantiate when he spoke about somewhere on uh, two rivers and elsewhere. So I think uh, this is small stuff that we shouldn't take so far. Well, I might not be aware. Mark, it's interesting. And I want us to look at now uh, Raila's most recent statement where Kalonzo Mosioka is concerned. Uh, but uh, just before that, Mark, it's interesting that after throwing these jabs, yes. Kibisu Kabatesi comes <laughs> at the end of the statement, writes, we appeal to the media to report facts as they are <laughs> and not go fishing for and creating bogies and conflicts within <laughs> the government. But anyway, let's take a look at uh, <laughs> uh, this particular story on uh, Kalonzo Mosioka uh, and